Howard Chandler is a Holocaust survivor. He survived at 13 years of age when he was rounded up and sent to Auschwitz-Birkenau. And Howard presses the idea that you need to tell and everybody needs to hear this story. You need to share first-hand accounts so that this never happens again. What is the historical significance of the Holocaust? According to the United States Holocaust Museum, the Holocaust was the systematic, state-sponsored persecution and murder of six million European Jews, the Nazi German regime, and its allies and collaborators. The Holocaust took place throughout Europe when the Nazi party came to power in 1933 until 1945. Anti-Semitism, prejudice, genocide, human rights, these are a few lessons learned from the studying of the Holocaust. To better understand these lessons, it is important to understand the before, during, and after of World War II in Germany and the German-occupied territories. At the end of World War I, with the Treaty of Versailles signed on June 28, 1919, and the War Guilt Clause stating that Germany take complete responsibility for World War I, discontent throughout Germany grew. Since it was not widely accepted by the German people, this led to major political and economic instability which in turn led to the growth of many extreme political groups, the Nazi party being one of them. They held extreme nationalist, racist, and anti-Semitic ideals. Hitler believed that people should be separated into a hierarchy of different races, with some superior and others inferior. Jews were the largest group to face this discrimination, but the discrimination also included the disabled, Roma, and other minorities that did not fit with the belief superior Aryan race. Scapegoating, desires for answers, abuse of power, and the role of fear are human behaviors found in all societies that, as it did during the Holocaust, can completely alter any country today. Propaganda played a major role in the support of the Nazi party. By playing on the fears of Germans, Nazis produced multiple forms of propaganda to appeal to the working class and families. Jews and communists were often featured as enemies of the German people. With the Wall Street crash of 1929, Germany sunk into a deep depression. Wages fell by 39%, and the number of fully employed workers dropped drastically. The fears that the propaganda wrote about were coming true and further fueled the support for their ideas. In the first six years of Hitler becoming chancellor, more than 400 decrees and regulations were passed restricting both public and private lives of Jews. As Germany continued to expand their empire, they also continued the removing of human rights to those they deemed not worthy. In 1942, Hitler's final solution intensified. Ghettos were enclosed areas designed to isolate and control the Jews. Polish and Western European Jews were deported to the ghettos where they lived in overcrowded and unsanitary conditions with insufficient food. The next steps were concentration camps placed around German-occupied Europe. Concentration camps served three main purposes, to incarcerate people whom the Nazis regime perceived to be a security threat, to eliminate individuals and targeted groups of individuals by murder, and to exploit forced labor of the prisoner population. Genocide is not a new event, but rather a newer term. The term did not exist before 1944. Genocide is internationally recognized as acts committed with the intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group. The Holocaust brought this front and center as the world started to fully learn the atrocities that Europe had just experienced. As the Nuremberg trials were proceeding, terms such as crimes against humanity and genocide were being broadcasted around the world. The term human rights started to be heard. The definition of human rights is all humans, no matter their nationality, race, or religion, are entitled to certain basic rights to enable them to flourish and live with dignity. If the Holocaust has taught us anything, it is that no one person or group of people's rights are more important than another's. As George Santana wrote, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. This applies directly to the Holocaust because people today say it did not happen. Survivors are getting older and in a few years will not be around to tell their firsthand account. Today on the grounds where these atrocities occurred, the governments and people do not acknowledge history standing before them. Medonik is located directly next to new apartment buildings and houses that overlook the camp and the mausoleum that houses the ashes of Medonik's prisoners. The Holocaust matters because it is one of the most extensively documented examples of hatred, dehumanization, 
and indifference in world history. The Holocaust reminds us that we, as humans, must do better. Something that changed me that I will never forget is when I was standing in Auschwitz-Birkenau with Howard Chandler, and it was not the barrack that he was in when he was there with his father, but he's this little man, and he sh I'm short, but he was shorter than me. And he stood up in the middle of the barrack and was giving his account of what happened, and he got this look in his eye like he was reliving it right then. And feeling it like goosebumps immediately, and knowing that his passion, everybody has to share, and he was adamant, you need to share it, you need to tell the story, people need to know, because people are denying it. And the look in his eye, the tears behind it, and his account of, his, just his account of surviving the Holocaust will forever stay with me. Thank you.